So today we're going to talk about why B12 is not being absorbed in your body. Unless you're a vegan, you're getting enough from the diet, okay? But the problem is usually the absorption, not from the diet. Here are a few symptoms that a person can experience if they're B12 deficient. Depression, paranoia, delusional, dementia, memory loss, pins and needles or numbness in your hands and your feet or any part of the body, anemia, swollen tongue, red tongue, fatigue, weakness, and tremors. And there's a lot of other ones as well. So B12 is one of the only B vitamins that can be stored in the body. So it can be stored for several years. So let's talk about the barrier of absorption. B12 is attached to a mineral, okay, cobalt, and it's protein bound. So to break this up, you need a very strong protein enzyme called pepsin, which happens to be triggered by acid in your stomach. In order to activate pepsin, you need a pH between one to three. That's extremely acid. So if you're taking antiacids, for example, that could be a definite reason why you're deficient in B12. Here are some other reasons. You could have a condition called atrophic gastritis, and that's a situation where the stomach is inflamed and the stomach lining is breaking down, maybe from years of consuming bad foods or junk foods or whatever. Um, because as soon as you destroy the lining of the stomach, you can't make this acid anymore. Gastric bypass, okay? And that's another way that it can disrupt the stomach lining, affecting the not just the uh, acid, but the release of enzymes as well. Celiac, okay? Now that's a problem in the small intestine. What happens is that B12 is normally broken down in the stomach and then absorbed in the small intestine. But if the lining of the small intestine is damaged, whether you have celiac or Crohn's or IBS, that could be the reason why it's not going in. Okay, and this is another common reason right here. You just don't have enough stomach acid. So many people have this problem. What's the top symptom that they experience? Acid reflux. Why? Because the valve at the top of the stomach doesn't close unless this pH is very, very acidic. Okay, so there's a sensor in this valve. And then the acid starts splashing back up and you get GERD or acid reflux, and you think, oh, wow, I need an antiacid, okay? Well, that just takes the stomach acid out, and the problem gets worse and worse and worse. So it's a real easy solution. What you do is you take this version of B12, methylcobolamine, okay, in thousands of micrograms. So I would suggest maybe 2,000 or maybe 3,000 micrograms of B12 this version right here, and you will see a great improvement in these symptoms right here. And then don't forget to acidify the stomach with either betaine hydrochloride or apple cider vinegar, or a combination of both. And you can get them in pills as well. Now there's one last thing. Let's say for example, you have these symptoms, or some of them, and you take the B12, and you still don't see change. There's one more thing. It's called the intrinsic factor that's made by your stomach. This is a factor that helps the absorption of B12, okay? And if you have damage in your stomach, um, it's very, very difficult to absorb B12 because you just don't have the intrinsic factor. There is a product that I know about. I don't sell it, okay? You can do a search on it. It's called Zypam. It has the intrinsic factor in this product. It's a natural product. It's from Standard Process. I used to use it when I was in practice. But if you do a search on Zypan, okay, and you start taking this, uh, it also has betaine hydrochloride to help acidify the stomach. Um, that can help the absorption of B12 as well. All right, guys, thanks for watching. So if you wanna get notified with all my content, click the notification bell next to subscribed.